Hey everyone, this is Gamer here, and I'm here with my new Let's Play for this year, or first new Let's Play of this year, should I say, and, well, this is another Crash Bandicoot game, like I said before, I'm going to be moving on from the secret levels in Crash Bandicoot 3. Start your engine for a Sony Computer Entertainment Europe production. Well, you can tell by that introduction, you know what this game is, obviously, it's Crash Team Racing. Now I did do this game before on my channel as sort of like a walkthrough, but I didn't have any commentary for it. And it wasn't really that good quality. Similar introduction to Crash Bandicoot 3. Except, well, Racers Popper and Aku Aku as well, including Nitrous Oxide. In fact, I'm going to view the introduction to this just to make sure you have an insight of what's going on in Crash Bandicoot... Uh, sorry, Crash Bandicoot 3. Crash Team Racing. So anyway, English obviously, and I'll just skip this and just uh, leave it down there, and I'll just put my controller down the moment, and uh, I'm looking forward to playing this game again, well purely because it's my favourite crash racing game out of all of them, like Nitro Kart and Tag Team Racing, this is, well, the original, and the original is always the best in my opinion when it comes to like the crash racing games, so Crash Team Racing is my favourite, and for, for good reason, so I mean, the tracks are very, like, innovatively made like by well Naughty Dog of this is obviously their last game that they made for Crash Bandicoot hopefully they come back to it soon because I mean well there's rumours obviously going around that Crash Bandicoot could come back in 2014 and oh here comes the introduction and I'll just uh, let it play and not speak Well, I might as well just come back to commentary because there's no, not any much more dialogue, but I also like how on planet Earth you saw it, on the Earth there, you saw that the three islands there, uh, that are in the Crash Bandicoot games, like the first, second, third islands from Crash Bandicoot 1 and 4 is learning how to drive. Well, reading upside down, well, very useful start. Now I'm kind of debating which character to go as in Crash Team Racing, but I'm just I think they're sticking with Crash to be honest, because Crash is an all-rounder, well, Cortex is the same uh, stats as Crash as well, but to be quite honest, I think I'm just going to stick with Crash. Because I've always gone Crash and Crash Team Racing and I'll always stick with them to be honest. So yeah, uh, that's the debut of Nitrous Oxide, his first game in the Crash Bandicoot series, so anyway, yeah, let's start adventure and new... So that's his first game that, well, in the Crash series, and well, he's obviously appeared in later games like uh, Crash Nitro Kart, and yes, Go Crash. I wonder if I could maybe put my full name in here. Can I do that? I'll just call myself C Gamer, like what I've always been doing in the Crash games. But he's only ever appeared in, well, his major appearances are the racing games, uh, Crash Team Racing and Crash Nitro Kart. He has made, like, cameos in uh, uh, Crash Bandicoot Rafa Cortex in the title screen and also uh, a cameo appearance in Crash to Insanity as well. I have to say Oxide is a pretty good villain in the Crash series and well Aku Aku is going to be explaining something here. Welcome to the Adventure Arena. You can travel around this area and practice your driving skills. The dots and stars on the map represent warp pads, which lead to races. When they flash, it signifies they are open to play. 
To access a racetrack, drive onto a warp pad that has an active warp vortex, and it will take you to the track start line. Finish a track in first place to win a trophy. As you collect more trophies, other tracks will turn on and open to you. Good luck, and drive fast. Okay, right. I think I'm going to practice my driving skills here, just so I can remind myself what it is to do again, just to get my boost up. Because it's been a while since I've played this, so... Okay, I think I've got the gist of it now. I've, I've learned the, uh, relearned the boosting ability again for drifting. That's all I need, really needed to practice before I went onto the first track. So, most of these tips that Akaku's giving, I might just skip just to save some time, because you all know, like, what this is all about, like, for Crash Team Racing. So anyway, here's the first trophy race in Crash Cove, which is, well, this is Insanity Beach uh, Island, well, for map. I got a boost to the start. Good start. Alright. Stay in the first item. Okay, good. Managed to get up to that upper ledge. I do like this game and this music, I mean, especially this track as well. But yeah, this is at the Insanity Island map. I got hit by my TNT. I got another one. <laughs> Who's gonna get it this time around? I'm waiting on so many weapons here. No one's gonna hit my items? Oh well. Looks like they're smarter than I thought. Or perhaps I've been seeing what I've been doing. I'm all juiced up. Ten went before that means my weapons will be a lot more powerful. I've got a red chemical. Uh, which will basically slow them down even further by having a black cloud of rain uh, raining on them in Coco Hit. Oh, that was close. I know I hit my own TNT there. I'm surprised no one hit that TNT. Okay, I'm, I think I'm getting on fine when it comes to boosting. Right. I've always ended up getting that shortcut. I'm way ahead of everyone else. Oh, Nearly ended up drifting the wrong way there. But yeah, that's what you basically do. Um, to win the trophy race, obviously, you need to come first place. As with all racing games, of course. And there's other challenges that lie ahead in these levels as well, like uh, relic races and uh, CTR token challenges. And what I've decided to do, based on how I'm going to be doing this LP, is after I've completed uh, the trophy races plus the boss of this map, then I'll uh, go back and do the CTR token challenges and the relic races. That way, I don't have to do them all again after facing Oxide once. So that way, I'll be able to face Oxide once and once only, and I'll just uh, view the uh, celebrations once. You only ever need to see it once. This crash is doing a celebra celebratory dance, and engine is looks like it's about to malfunction, and Tiny's just like, why, why did I have to lose? Alright, and Aku is going to give another hint. The more Wampa Fruit you collect, the faster your cart will go. If you collect and hold 10 Wampa Fruit, you'll be juiced up, and your power up will become more potent. Well, there you go. I mean, that's exactly what I explained there. The items will become much more powerful, and I can't go back to uh, Crash Cove until I've collected the boss key which will be soon enough, after I've completed the next three races. And I have to say, when it comes to the Relic challenges, I'm just going to do the best I can, to be honest. Don't expect me to get 101% for this, because to get 101% you need to get all Relics that are either Gold or Platinum. So to be quite honest with you, uh, I really don't think I'm going to be able to get uh, all Gold and Platinum for all tracks. I'll get another group boost, I thought I would have messed that one up. But I didn't. That's always good. Right, keep boosting. Whoa, I ended up going the wrong way there. Oh, if only my voice was a bit more high pitched, it would have sounded like Crash going, like, Whoa, I went the wrong way! <laughs> right, engine's in front at the moment. Hopefully, he won't be a nuisance. There we go. Ah, yourself. You're in front of me. You're in my place. I'm just gonna get in my second one. Oh, Pura. Let's 
Seems like Pura has been taking my hits recently from my weapons. Now we use tubes. This track is very good. Well, I mean, obviously you could tell by this that Ripperu is the boss of this track. As you probably know, because all, all of you have probably seen Crash Team Racing multiple times. So I don't think I really need to explain it. However, it's got a bit of references to Crash Bandicoot 3, in my opinion, in this track. Well, first of all, and we're on the final lap already, the underwater sections here are referenced to Crash Bandicoot 3. I mean, that's why I think, at least. I might be wrong, but the underwater sections here are referenced here to Crash Bandicoot 3's underwater levels. Well, I'm getting on very well here with my boosts. And the final stretch here, which is coming up again just shortly. Uh, the bones here are reference, kind of a reference to the prehistoric levels in Crash Bandicoot 3 as well. And there we go. Well, that was quick. So again, these uh, uh, parts will be done in sessions again. So this will be like a one hour session and then I'll move on to like the next one, like for example. And again, I'm going to be skipping the celebration because you don't really need to see it again. Okay, how do you skip it? Start, okay. Okay, second trophy collected. Alright, here's another tip from Aku Aku. When you get a TNT crate on your head, start hopping immediately. If you react fast and hop enough times, the TNT crate will fall off your head before it explodes. Okay, right, well TNT crates, I mean, well, I haven't really fallen victim to a TNT crate yet, but very useful tip. If in case of any of you didn't know, that you have to hop to get a TNT crate off your head, but I'm pretty sure everyone knows that already. But just a friendly reminder, just in case, if anyone's forgotten. Anyway, here's the next track, Mystery Caves. Now this track... If I remember rightly, this track is... It's not that well me all. Well, the first few tracks in this game are not hard, they're pretty easy, especially the trophy races. I'm trying to think what reference, uh, what reference, oh yeah, these boost pads, or these pads are like uh, turtles from Crash Bandicoot 1, I think, or Crash Bandicoot 2. Alright, oh, who's in front? I'm in fourth place, right, okay, I need to see if I can get out of this. Oh god, I thought I was about to get hit by a missile there, but I didn't. Ah, take that engine. Why me? Of course, why me? Why me? Why did I hit you, engine? <laughs> I'm just joking, of course. That's not the way he asked it, of course. He's like, why you little? Not like Homer Simpson. <laughs> this isn't Simpsons, everyone. It's Crash Bandicoot, I mean. But, anyway, that, that was kind of random, but... Alright, Dingo Dial's in front of me at the moment. Not anymore, he isn't, but you'll probably end up getting in front of me unless I make a mistake, but hopefully I will not. Just keep on boosting, and I'll be fine. I'm getting on very well in terms of my boost here. I never thought I would get on this well. Although, probably when I say that now, I'm going to end up jinxing it, aren't I? Of course. That's always a thing that happens in the last place. The jinx curse. Oh god. Wow! I uh, actually thought I could have got hit by that missile, but I didn't. Okay, TNT crate. I just wonder if I can maybe get 10 Wumper through. No? Oh, okay, maybe I do. Right, Nitro Crate. Unlucky Dingo Dial. Very unlucky, my friend. I'm sure you'll get back at me next time. Not. I'm way ahead now. No, I'm, I'm not meaning to sound very well, cocky or anything. Don't be cocky, clan. Alright then, so. Place this down. Also, thank you all for the subscribers recently, like, I'm at 244 subscribers at the moment as of this recording. Although that'll probably change when this gets put up on Monday. So, but thank you all for the subscribers so far, and I've decided, uh, speaking of, like, the 250 subscribers I was talking about, that introduction video I was talking about in my update video, which was, went horrible, to be honest with you, I mean, like, I think it's best for me, to, for my update videos, if I'm doing gameplay, maybe it's best if I just stick with post commentary, so I can concentrate, I mean, it's Bacon Gamer 1 said in the comment, and, uh, yeah, it was obvious, I don't know what I was thinking about doing it.